there is a lot to love about Stormgate's newest faction. So today, I am sharing my favorite seven things from the Celestials. Number one, power. I hate dealing with supply. It is so incredibly tedious. And the power mechanic in comparison is just a breath of fresh air. And that is all I really need to love it. In addition to that, it's tied to structures in a way that still caps the game similar to a regular supply mechanic. The power mechanic is even more interesting now that the Celestials use it for their top bar abilities as well. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then check out my beginner's guide video on Celestial Structures. The Animancer. From the art design to the mechanics, this unit is just so much fun. I really like the array of spells that it has. It gives me so much flexibility and adaptability in my games. The spells have such interesting applications that have me thinking about which one I'm going to cast in any given situation. The Animancer can be your go-to unit for retreating, trapping opponents, or doing big damage. I, I think they're an absolute must-have for almost any Celestial army. The Scanner. This is an extremely useful unit. As a scouting unit, it might just be the best in the game. You can fly them around the map marking targets or perching them on trees, spreading out your vision across the map. Until the trees start getting knocked down anyway. And they have the best unit model for the Celestials. I mean, look at it. It's adorable. A little hippity happity. Haha, <laughs> don't worry, Pluto. Remember, the important thing is to always do your best. Will you help Pluto do his best in the doggy games? Number 4. Cascade. Of course it is a nice quality of life to not have to drag a worker over, but on top of that, I feel like it's actually quite nice looking on the map. Like whenever I pull up a structure, it's just like a little shot of dopamine. But uh, on top of that, it actually changes how you place your buildings and gives you more to think about. Uh, where you place your arc ship and, and where you move your structures throughout your opening is the kind of interesting thing that really endears the Celestials to me. That and other mechanics means that as Celestials, gaining a foothold in enemy territory is a very powerful asset. Number five, power banks. I know it's kind of a boring structure in theory, but I love that Stormgate has given these mundane structures that are almost like a checkbox on the way to other structures Something functional, something that you're going to want in and of itself. And that means that where you place them and how you place them matters. You can wall off with them, you can use them aggressively to power your units. And that to me makes the power bank kind of the core of what I love so much about what Frost Giant has done with the game. This, in tandem with the power mechanic, makes this one of Stormgate's most interesting structures. Number 6. Power Surge. Power Surge is an extremely useful feature. It changes the way you look at build orders for the faction and can be used for wide sweeping strategies and for defensive tactics. In a word, it is flexibility. But that also means decision making. Do I power down my production in favor of using my top bar abilities? Or should I power up my tech structures instead? Or is it better to power my defensive structures when I'm being attacked? You can plan it out carefully or change on a dime to what the situation calls for in the moment. Finally, the Arc Fortress Laser. Now, could the animation use a little tune-up? Sure, but it's still a big sky laser and it doesn't get better than that. The Celestials are a lot of fun. If you would like to get in on the action now, you can pick up a Stormgate Early Access Pack on Steam. With it, you can get some cosmetics, campaign missions, and commanders, if I'm not mistaken. Or you can wait a couple of weeks, and Early Access will become available to everybody. Either way, I'll see you next time.